Greetings, Earth family. Welcome to another garden update video. Today is April 22nd, 2023, and it's Earth Day. So this is my Earth Day celebration video. I'm going to show you how I celebrate the Earth. But really, I celebrate the Earth 365 days a year. I celebrate the Earth. So this is an update video uh, from my garden because I have a lot of things growing in really nice. We have had such amazing weather in this area and it's making all the plants grow in so nice. So I'll take you around starting here at the gate. See what's growing in. So this is a trellis that Frank made me last year and I had morning glories growing on it. And so then I built this around it so that I could sit here and have some privacy from, let me show you. Hello doggy. So it gives me a little privacy when I sit here and relax and enjoy nature as much as I can because I've created these gardens with recovery and wellness in mind. I have a really extensive herbal garden at this point and um, I am collecting the herbs and using them as part of my, my wellness and recovery. So um, as we go around, maybe I'll tell you about some of them, but there's so many things I have growing. I can't really tell you about everything, but if you want to come visit me, anybody, um, feel free to reach out, send me a message, and I'll show you around. Now, everything's not really grown in yet. You can see it's just getting ready to bud. So these are my irises, and every year they, they get bigger and bigger in that spot. So I think it's time to split them up, put some out front. And then I have uh, an evening primrose right there growing inside my mint pot so at first i was going to move it but then i saw how big that was so i figured well they're just going to grow up together and and they'll just have to get along because that evening primrose is going to be beautiful it gets um really pretty yellow flowers in the evening and then they close in the morning and then right here is the echinacea and that's just growing in now i have lavender just starting to green in and inside the rest of this bed is going to get mullein and um, some more evening primrose and then some other things so i still have some planning there to do over here in this bed we're still working on this area still trying to turn that soil into something fertile because right now it's just it's dirt it's it's not fertile at all so we're working on it and then this is the um, pollinator strip that I have out front with a mixture of seeds that are coming up. I've got bulbs and perennials. I've got herbs that are medicinal. Um, and here you can see the chamomile. That's a medicinal herb that's getting ready to bloom. And then we've got larkspur right there getting ready to bloom. Over here, we already have the cat mint in bloom. And look how beautiful this is. I just love this one. It is such a beautiful color, purple, just like the uh, purple phlox we started with at the beginning of the video. Beautiful colors coming in here. And over here you can see, we got the pansies. We got foxglove right there, getting its center stem. So we'll be seeing flowers there soon. And then we got food growing in here. We got choy, kohlrabi. We got beets, collard greens, turnips, garlic, leeks, onions, Brussels sprouts. This, this bed has a little bit of everything. And we have broccoli in there, but the broccoli is not doing very well. So I'm probably gonna move that. And uh, over here is the medicinal garden. So you can see everything is starting to grow in. We've got yarrow, valerian, some mint, bee balm, Lovage, rue, hyssop, I have arnica, 
is coming in there. I don't know if you can see it. Lemon balm. We got our Jerusalem artichoke there. Thyme, sorrel, Brussels sprout. You can see, oh, there's vervain just coming back now. And sweet William. And then we got a lot of other little things here just beginning to come back. So this is really my favorite time of year, watching everything that was dormant in the winter start to green in with this gorgeous green color. And then this is my little sitting area. And I just put these pots around to make it look nice. And there's some more chamomile in bloom. Isn't that beautiful? And I just have various things here. And then these are pots that I move in and out of the house because I like to have fresh flowers in the house. So I put them out here and then when we're sitting down at, to dinner or if I have company come over, I put them in the house and I put different things in all, all year, change it out. Or I'll just have fresh cut flowers in a vase because pretty soon you'll see a lot of flowers growing, maybe in another two weeks, we'll start seeing more flowers. And then over here is my heart garden bed, you can see that there, with my hoop house, greenhouse. We've got mustard still coming in real good, kale, lettuce, sage, oregano. This has a lot of my garden time, or my, uh, my kitchen herbs that I collect. And here's chives getting ready to bloom, and I love those flowers I collect them when they're ready and I dry them out and I use them for tea and what else we got oregano I just harvested a whole lot of oregano and I dried it in my dehydrator and now I'm going to make my uh, my oil my infused oil with my fresh oregano and I see I have more oregano to harvest right there some of them I left because it's gonna get a pretty flower over here we got the corn, oh no, not corn, carrots. There's my carrot bed. Everything is getting ready to be watered. So it looks a little dry. We got the beans coming in in the bean bed. There's another bean bed just coming in. We got broccoli and cauliflower, Swiss chard, tomatoes. And interesting to note, we had temperatures the other day that went down to 35. And I have all my tomatoes planted. Well, not all of them, I have more, um, but I have some of them planted. And they did just fine in that temperature. And in fact, that big one there has some flowers on it already. So that's pretty cool. And then we have okra just popping up over there. We've got some strawberry, my shadow's in the way. Strawberry popcorn there that I, I planted, oh, where is it? I planted that there for the animals to feed them so that they don't eat my stuff. And look at the strawberry patch. Look at how many flowers. We're gonna have so many strawberries, I'm so excited. So excited, can't wait. And blueberries as well, lots of blueberries. These bushes, there's lots of fennel. What do we got over here? More blueberries. Oh, this is my favorite area. Did we even go over here? All right, so can you tell I honor the earth every day? I'm always growing something somewhere <laughs> in the house. And, uh, and this time of year, I get to see it all growing outside. So here's the garlic, here's broccoli. Rob, we were eating this this morning, so good. Oh my God, and then regular broccoli and cabbage. And over here, Brussels sprouts, my shadows in the way. And all the lettuces are coming in real good. And I just harvested a bunch of that spinach that's up the middle there. And that was amazing. And over here, we've got all this growing in. We got the peas. The peas are having a hard time finding their way to the trellis, so I have to put another rope or something down lower so that they can start climbing because they're starting to go all over so we'll go over here got the rose bush getting ready to bloom yay all the radishes look at all the radishes 
I haven't thinned these out. I'm supposed to, but I always have a hard time sacrificing. I think I'm just going to let them grow there. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Oh, look at this bee just sitting here, taking a break. Let's see. Can we get in closer? What are you doing? Huh. She's just taking a break. Getting the sun. And he's back. Okay, so we'll walk this way. We'll leave him alone because I don't want to make a man. And then we can go. This way is my potting center, my repotting center, or my transplant replants, or whatever I'm doing, really. If I'm making a soil mixture, put it in there. And uh, I, have some, I have a lot of work to do, but I have a party to go to today. So I have to get everything watered and I gotta get myself ready. But here's everything that else that's ready to go into the ground. And we have like, we have so many things. I can't even name them all. We got peppers and cucumbers and watermelon and a lot of marigolds, other flowers, and shadow again. And then I got lettuces and these things. And then inside I got more seeds and everything started in there. So much. It's so much fun. I love it. I love it. So a lot of this is for the front yard because I still have to finish um, making the front yard look spectacular. So I think I went everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. There's just so much. All right, we'll end with this beautiful garden here. This shape. Look at this. Look at that. Is that cool or what? This is beautiful. And this. And this. It's beautiful. All right, so I hope this little tour around my garden inspires you to get out and make your backyard look amazing. Create space for yourself so that you can recharge and recover and rejuvenate. And have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.